So we are back here with MLB The Show 19 with the uh, Cincinnati Reds franchise. And in this month of June, the last couple games we have played have been absolute thrillers. Um, it's going to continue here, obviously, you would think. We're going to play, go through the rest of this road trip here, and go on and take on the Phillies probably. We'll just skip through the four-game series with the Mets. I don't think we'll play that since we just played the Mets. I was thinking about playing them on the road again, but I think what we'll do is just play a game against the uh, Phillies that in the, to finish off this road trip just to see how we do. We can sim through this these four-game series for the Mets, and that will really tell us some uh, more information as well. But we'll play one of these games against Philadelphia, and right now I think – they may be, they're one of the best teams in baseball. The Mets obviously were the best, but you can see we, we really did a number on this road trip. Sweep the Cubs on the road. Wow. We take three or four from the Mets. So what a job for this Cincinnati Reds team. This was really a, just about a week and a half stretch to see what we did. Now we lose the first two games here to the Phillies, and we'll head on to this game. But still, this road trip has been a success. It shows that this team is ready to easily compete for a division title and get in this playoff race. So Adonis Medina is who we are facing, 2-1 on the season, 3.79 ERA. Not too bad. We got a little bit of a uh, cloudy, foggy type game here in Philadelphia. So we'll see what this Phillies team has, and we'll see maybe another crazy game as it starts off. That is ripped into a right field there by Taylor Trammell, but that's going to be a fly out, and uh, that'll be out number one. So here comes Jacques Peterson. Good series so far, doing pretty well, putting up some good numbers, coming off the, uh, obviously, free agent pickup. He's looking pretty good so far as he's taking a ball there, 2-0 count. So he has a good hitter's count here, and he's going to take advantage as that one is absolutely belted. See you later. That'll start off the game well as we get the solo home run here from Jacques Peterson. And uh, that'll be number 13 on the season. He has a, you know, sometimes with free agent pickups, you just never know how they're going to react to different cities, different ballparks, but so far, so good here. He has been outstanding as his first inning continues with Guerrero on base at first, and here comes Jesse Winker coming up. He's got himself a 2-2 count. He's going to rip this one. That is going to be trouble. That one's going to be to the left field wall. I don't think Guerrero is going to have enough speed to uh, score here. He'll stay at third. Winker on his way to second base, and that dude, once again, can just absolutely rake the ball, and now we got second and third. Two out here. Can the young man Ruiz come through? He's going to rip this one, but that's going to be a nice sliding catch by the left fielder to bring that one down. Only one on the board, and now we'll go with Charlie Morton, who has absolutely struggled this season after last year. Right there in the league lead of wins. You can see this lineup. Harper, Reese Hoskins. Okay of a lineup, I would say. Not the greatest. As you see, Harper, ninth, uh, homers on the year, fourth in on the uh, in the NL there. So obviously got to take care of him. But back to Charlie Morton. He has been definitely a disappointment. He has definitely really struggled this season as he does get Harper there for strike three in the end of the first. But if we can turn him around, it's definitely what we need. Obviously, I think the only weakness of this team right now is the pitching. The lineup, as you can see, is uh, doing fantastic as Miguel Hinduhar is going to rip that one. That is going to be in there for a double, and that's the troubles we've had the last few games is definitely the pitching. Um, you know, we've had to score eight, nine runs a game just to hang on to these ball games. So um, if we can improve some pitching, maybe something we look at at the trade deadline, maybe we probably try to bring in somebody. We'll see as that is going to be Peterson. That's going to be a fly out there for out number two. So Hinduhar stays at second base. And then hopefully uh, Guerrero Jr. can come through here. He's been of a struggling season, but he's still only, what, 22 years old. So uh, he's got plenty of time to do what he wants to do. As Guerrero's going to take a walk there. So Medina lets up the walk to Guerrero. So we'll have first and second. That's going to bring up Jesse Winker, who doubled there in the first inning. Let's see if he can do some damage here with two outs in the third inning. So Medina pitch, 1-0 count here to Winker. Hangs one there. That one is going to be absolutely ripped. Harper is no way going to get that one. That is going to score... One, we'll see Guerrero's going to stay at third there. But, man, that was just a hanging pitch. Luckily for Medina, that was not out of the ballpark. Yeah, they're going to take a little mound visit, try to settle him down. And now can Julio Ruiz come through again? Almost the same spot. Two on with two down. Rips one deep into left center field. But that is going to be caught. Ends the inning. At least we get one. You see the standings, three and a half lead over Pittsburgh. With that sweep against Chicago, that's really helped us out. They're now six and a half back here as we're about a month away from the All-Star break. And so far, so good So for Charlie Morton. He's pitched a lot better in this ballgame so far, not allowing anything for three. And we still have the 2-0 lead. So we'll head to the fourth. 
and Mort continue this, but he's going to start off poorly there with a walk. So leadoff walk to start off this fourth inning. And here comes Bryce Harper, obviously dangerous hitter for sure. So 0-1 count to Harper. He's going to rip this one, but we're going to get a 6-4, three double play. Exactly what we need. A nice job by Morton getting that ground ball. And we will get through the fourth inning with nothing. And Morton still looking good. So we'll head down to the top of the fifth. Here comes Taylor Trammell trying to lead off this inning well. And he rips that one into the right field wall. Harper's going to be up with it. We're going to test his arm a little bit. Trammell with the speed definitely can get in there. He has himself a double. So nice way to start this fifth inning out with the lead off double. And that's going to bring up Manel and Duhar. So 2-0 count to him. He'll take ball three there. And it's worked it now. It's a 3-2 count. Medina's worked it back up the middle. And that is going to be a nice play there by the second baseman. Now uh, maybe holding Trammell on. If even Trammell's not held on, that's definitely a base hit for sure. But here comes Jacques Peterson. Chance to knock in a run. And he's going to get a hold of this one. And that is going to be back. And that's going to be off the wall. Harper can't get that one. Trammell scores easily. Peterson on his way to second. So another double here. And we get the third run on the board in the fifth. Peterson having an excellent game so far. Home run double. And uh, he's been the run producer, taking uh, bringing up two of them. So can Morton come through? And that's exactly what he does. Gets Jackson there swinging in the fifth. So Morton hanging on to this one. And now the Phillies have decided that's enough of Medina. They are going to the bullpen. The former Yankee, David Robinson, coming in. So here we are in the sixth. Just a man on. We're going to leave Charlie Morton in to hit. He's pitching well enough. I didn't think we needed to pinch hit. It's going to be out number three of that inning. So nothing there in the top half of the sixth. Just decided to leave in Morton. He's only at 52 pitches, hasn't allowed a run. So even, uh, you know, a spot maybe to get something, nothing there. But then they're going to pinch hit for Robinson, and that is going to be a pinch hit home run for Josh Harrison, the former Pirate. That one is out of here. So finally the uh, Phillies have got themselves on the board here. So just, uh, we'll see what happens here. Top of the order coming up now, and that's going to be ripped, and Ruiz almost had it. Tries to get over to first, but Hernandez is going to be in safe at first base. Just beating that one out, but what a play by Rui. He's probably saving a double. So here comes Bryce Harper grounded into the double play last time in the same spot, but this time gets a hold of one. That one's going to be back. Trammell can't do anything but look up, and that is a two-run shot, and just like that, the success that Morton has been having in this ball game is gone. Bryce Harper, two-run homer, tied up at three just like that here in the sixth. Just cannot seem to get away from these ball games. I, it's just back, you know, back and forth as Morton will finally get out of this sixth inning there with the fly out. But we're back to square one, tied up as now we head into the seventh inning. We got the Phillies bullpen at least, you know, in the game here. Don't have the starter. And that's going to work out because Taylor Trammell is going to have himself another double, maybe more. He's going for three. Throw over to third. Trammell safely in there. Triple for Taylor Trammell, showing that speed number four on the season. It's still crazy to think how he just just happened to give him a chance last year, and he's absolutely taken advantage. As Miguel and Duhar is going to fly out here to Bryce Harper, but that is plenty enough room out there to get Trammell in. He scores. Take the lead right back here in the seventh. So Morton now still up for a win opportunity. We can hold on to this one. The next batter up, Jacques Peterson, 2-2 count to him. Pitch down low. That's going to be taken for ball three. So works it here, 3-2 count. Next pitch, that's going to be hung up, but he fouls away the changeup, keeping this one alive. Sticking in at 3-2, next pitch. And he waited for the pitch he wanted, as that one is going to be absolutely crushed. Second home run of the game off the scoreboard for Jacques Peterson. Man, that was absolutely belted. Worked the count to what he was, uh, the pitch he was looking for. Gets it. Take the 5-3 lead now. And Ken Morton not allow anything else as he'll get the ground out here, works it over, gets out of the seventh inning. That might be it for Charlie Morton as we can now maybe go to the bullpen, Amir Garrett, Wade Davis, and uh, Andrew Miller. But we're looking to add on some more runs as Nixon Zell comes through. He rips one into the gap. That's going to be two. He'll st stop there at second base. So with one out here in the eighth, have a chance to add on some more runs and bring up Tucker Barnhart. So first pitch here to Barnhart, and he's going to crush one, too. And there's the offense for you. It has been uh, red hot the last maybe month, and it continues here in Philadelphia. That is crushed. We take now the 7-3 to three lead. Barnhart with a homer, and now we can just go to the bullpen. So we'll bring in Adam Limitor here. You can see the stats for Morton. Not too bad, only that bad uh, 
inning there in the sixth, allowed three. Really, other than that, he was fantastic. And now Libertor, can he pretty much close this one out as he gets the out there in the eighth? And now we'll head into the ninth with two down. Chance to end this ball game. One, two, count. Get some swinging. So, uh... Adam Libertor comes in, does the job. Morton pitched pretty well, but the offense, once again, coming through. Even when uh, we have the lead, let up the lead, the offense says, nah, that's all right. We got it. Well, no problem. We'll come right back, add a few more runs, and get ourselves a victory. And Jacques Peterson, what a ball game. Two homers, three RBI, really came through. Obviously, Tucker Barnhart with that two-run homer in the eighth, just adding on, giving us some room. So Morton does get the win. Libertor pitches well out of the bullpen. And at least we finish off that road series. Only losing three times. Can't really complain about that. That is an excellent road series. Continue our lead in first place here in this division. And what we'll probably do from here, I think we're going to try to get a little bit further, obviously. We're going to go probably past the All-Star break, maybe into the trade deadline. Um, and then maybe get into August or September. I think we'll get into August and then go from there just to see how the race and see how this team goes. Um, I think we'll be in the race for sure toward, towards the end of the season, um, whether it be the division or wild card. So I think we'll save a lot more here going forward uh, just to get this one rolling even more because I'm, I'm excited. I think this team could definitely be – is going to be – we're going to get some playoff action this year. So I, I'm just like – I want to get towards it. As you can see now, a four-game lead over the Brewers, five for the Cubs, five and a half of the Pirates, even the Cardinals. Not that far back, really. Seven and a half backs. So maybe they're in the wild card race. Taking a look at the other divisions around the league. Yankees, Red Sox, uh, Rays are there probably in the wild card. Not sure about the division. Orioles and Blue Jays definitely out of it for sure. Indians just dominating that division. Nobody else is even close. The White Sox, 13 and a half back. Yeah, that, that division's done over with for sure. Rangers lead in the West, and that's pretty. That's a pretty good lead too. Six, and, six over the Angels, seven over the Astros. Red Sox. Rays right now with that wild card. Angels just sitting right out with the Astros. Mariners pretty close as well. Head to the National League. Mets just dominate. Even the Phillies are 51-38. It just shows how good the Mets are this year. Dominating that East Division. Uh, right now you saw the lead we have. And then the Rockies actually. Usually I'm so used to the Dodgers just dominating the West. But the Rockies have the two-game lead over the Dodgers at the moment. And then they wild card the Phillies, Dodgers, Brewers, Cubs, Pirates, Giants just sitting back there, National, so a couple uh, more teams back there. And then we'll just go through some of the stats here, taking a look as we're getting very close to the All-Star break. That Miguel on Duar trade, I'm really enjoying it. I think he's been an absolute, the offense has taken off even more. Uh, just put him in the two spot, he can just crush the ball. you got Trammell, who's an excellent leadoff hitter, and obviously Peterson, I mean, this is without even Guerrero really doing anything. Um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. so far this season, uh, it's you know he has 14 overs, 54 RBI, only batting 253. You know he has a, he's had a few games here and there where it's been fantastic, but really hasn't. You know he's been having up and down season. So even without him, uh, and Duhar's been able to pick up the pace a little bit, allow this offense to flourish. So that has been fantastic. And Peterson, yeah, he's been a great. Uh, free agent addition is really fit in and Tucker Barnhart I thought Tyler Stevenson was going to be the future here and really take over the job and Tucker Barnhart goes I don't think so I'm going to take this job I'm going to show you what I got he's got 13 homers over uh, about 36 RBI he he's been fantastic and really like I said earlier we just need the pitching to really step up look luckily Alex Woods had a very good season Luis Castillo he only has seven losses he's been great um, Arietta has been fantastic as well uh, Morton just really struggled, but he's looking to improve. So it looks like he's got his, uh, that maybe the game we just pitched with him, he's doing fantastic now. He's got a hot streak going. Hunter Green's obviously been disappointing a little bit. We'll let him uh, work out the kinks a little bit. Andrew Miller has been fantastic. Mir Garrett's fantastic. So the bullpen has really been good. At least that picks up um, the lack of the starting pitching we'd have. But every, really, it's been working out fantastically, uh, this whole team, this whole season. We had I had expectations coming in. I thought we could be... Obviously, last year, wasn't sure how it was going to work out, and we uh, got near the end of the season, very close to making the wild card of the playoffs. And now, this year, we got this division title in our grasp, and you know, we're not, I'm not going to let that go for sure. So, this team looking to improve. We'll see what we can do maybe in the uh, trade deadline. Maybe we go out and get a pitcher, a starting pitcher, maybe. I think our bullpen's good, but maybe a starting pitcher. Because I don't think, yeah, guys like Brent Honeywell, he is doing fantastic here in AAA. And see, even Nick Neidhart, 
are doing great. Our price as well. Our top prospector, you know, his ERA is a little high, but obviously, you know, he's only this is his first full season. But Nick Nyhart and Honeywell, they're maybe a year away, but not right now. Christopher McQueen, he had a draft pick from a few years ago. He's pitching really well. So we got guys in the minors, so I don't know if we really need, you know, we maybe just get that veteran pitcher, you know, that could help us down the stretch and possibly get into the playoffs. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take more of a starter. I, I think bullpen were good. If we can just get a, maybe a veteran starter, somebody that is – maybe one of the best overalls on our team. That's what we're looking for, a big-time trade. So I think we'll have to look at it for that next time as we go through the minor league. Um, stats here, J.B. Crawford's definitely trade bait, obviously with that A potential. I don't see him actually with a future on this team. Um, so he's a potential guy. Maybe we can think about trading. Uh, go down to double-A. Ray Skaggs is just killing it with 15 home runs. Brandon Marsh, who we traded for a few years ago, he's been a bit been a bit of a disappointment, but Theodore Rico, 285, five homers, 29 RBIs, actually has 13 stolen bases, so that's uh, good to see, so it looks like he's doing really well, uh, he's fourth there on the team in RBI, and Campos, look at all the steals, Kyler Murray with 13, that is a lot of stolen bases, wow, man, must be a really aggressive there in double A, Rico, he's leading to, uh, down there, 285 average, so that is great to see. So good to see the depth and guys we drafted are doing well. Uh, Cespedes, okay, not too, not the greatest. Kyler Murray's obviously only batting 233, but obviously with the speed and defense that he brings, um, he can definitely help out for sure. I don't know if he'll ever make it up to the major leagues. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a thing we just do. I'm not sure. But um, that's just going through the stats. Another great game, getting the victory against Philadelphia. Great road trip. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully this will be something we go forward. Obviously, now the All Star break, um, and then hopefully from there we can make a run towards the playoffs. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye bye.